welcome back friends today we are going to talk about how you can create slicers in an excel file slicers are basically a smart filter or you can say that these are modern filters in excel today we are going to talk about it and we are going to cover different aspect of slicers but before i start i request you to please subscribe my youtube channel and click on below bell icon to get the notifications now let's start on my screen you can see that i have this data set and i have the headers i have these country name and i want to apply the filter if you want to use traditional filter what you'll be doing you'll be selecting the data headers and then going to data and here you'll be clicking on this filter and then your filter will be enabled and from there if you click on these arrow buttons you can filter your data by unselecting and selecting any of the category am i right but in the slicer you do not need to do these manual steps and as i told you slicers are modern filters how you can use it you need to remove the filter first and then select the entire data set and remove the entire formatting what i'm going to do i'm going to convert this data set into table so basically slicers can be applied only on tables or you are using any kind of pivot table or you are using any kind of connections with other data sheets okay then only you will be able to use slicers here i'm going to convert this data set into table first for that what i need to do i need to remove the formatting first so that i can see my actual table format what you need to do is select the data set click on this border select no border go to this fill select no fill and here also you can select automatic okay once you do that then your data will be raw data you select any data point only one thing you need to remember there should not be any blank column or blank row within your data set it will help you to apply the table formatting to entire data set so i clicked on this cell within this data set i don't have any blank column any blank row if you want to learn more about excel tables you can watch my other video excel tables on my youtube channel that contains complete details now click on this cell click on this format as table once you do that you'll be seeing different formats you can use any of this format let me use this one let me click ok once i do that this will be converted into a table and on the top i will be seeing this table design option when i was using simple data set i was not able to see this table design option is that means that it is not the table format once you activate the table format in the data set then you can go to insert and from there you will be seeing this slicers under filter option you need to click on this slicer you will be seeing these options now i want to apply the filter on country department and year so let me click on these all three together and let me click ok once i do that i will be seeing these boxes which will be showing me these filters and when i hover on any of the filter that will get highlighted and from there you can filter your data set now what you need to do you need to select these filters and place it somewhere which may look good for you okay you can resize the slicers as per your need like if you want to keep small width you can keep like that let me shift other slicers also so that it should look good to me and i can place these here or i can place it here okay i don't need to resize every slicer the reason is because i may keep adding data points in my data set so that these filter may still keep showing me different data filters am i right you can keep little blank space in the slicers okay now i can increase the width so that it can match and i can increase the width increase the length of this filter as well so that it looks good and properly formatted but again it depends on you how you want to keep it now what we are going to learn that how you are using these so when you hover on any filter that will get highlighted and from there if you click on that your other filter will get white out and then your filter will get selected so i filtered the data in the department for hr and i can see my filter data set here if i click on finance i can see my finance values are showing don't you think is it a cool option so that is why i was telling you these are smart filters once you click on any filter and respect to any other filter if you see that there no value exists in the data set for that filter that will get gray out if you want to hide these option you can do that what you need to do you need to select the slicer go on the top you will be seeing this slicer option from a slicer setting when you click on that here you will find this option hide items with no data when you click on this you click okay 
you can see those items which got grayed out has been hidden here now am i right so that is how you can hide those options now if you want to remove the filter what you need to do you need to click on this box and once you untick this then your entire filter will be removed okay and your you will be seeing your entire data set now if you want to change the formatting of this slicer what you need to do you need to select the any slicer go to slicer option here you can see some pre-formatted styles and you can use any of them like let me use this one you can see it has changed so that is how you can change the format if you want to create your custom formatting just select the slicer go to slicer and in the slicer style you can see new slicer style and from there you can create your own custom formatted now let's talk about that if you protect the spreadsheet okay and when you, you will be using these filters these are not gonna work let me click on this review tab let me protect the sheet and once i do that i can see that nothing is getting highlighted and i cannot click on these slicers in that case what you need to do you need to unprotect the sheet select the slicer which you want to unprotect while your sheet is protected you need to click on this size and properties once you click on that you will be seeing this option okay and at the bottom you will be seeing properties in this properties you need to untick this box that is locked once you do that when you go back to your protect sheet this is gonna work but before that you need to do one more thing when you click on this protect sheet at the bottom of this window this protected sheet option you need to enable the filter that is use auto filter so that your data set get filtered when you are using these slicers let me click ok once i do that i let me click on any slicer it is working and my sheet is protected it is working correctly i can remove this okay now if you want to use custom header names instead of these country name which is coming from this name what you can do unprotect the sheet select the filter go to slicer and here you will be seeing slicer setting from there you can change the header name if you want to hide the headers in the slicer you can untick this display header and your header will be hidden so that is how you can work with these slicers now i'm going to talk about how you can resize it so you can use these button sizes if you want to increase the button sizes you can do that from here if you want to increase the size of uh, the entire slicer you can do it from here okay and uh, suppose if you are using these multiple filters and you want to change it from one column to sec two column how you can do that you can just change the column from here like if you press two all the filters will be distributed in the two columns okay and then you can go down and you can resize if your data does not get updated okay it looks good it is coming on one screen so that is how you can use slicers and in the last what i'm going to tell you that you can keep these slicers on different tab also from there you can filter this data set how you can do that you need to click on this slicer you need to cut it with the help of Control x and then go to any tab like your dashboard screen and put it there okay and you can keep all these slicers there and let me keep all these slicers here let me click on this cut it from here go to home and paste it here now you can remove these grid lines and on the top you can keep your other formattings and from there if you filter any data your slicers basic understanding is getting filtered out am i right so that is how you can use slicers hope you like this video please do not forget to subscribe my channel if you want to learn more about excel and please share this video with your friends and do comment whether you like it or you have any questions thank you